Good evening, Octane Infinity. This is February 16th. Welcome back to the daily Who's Your Daddy Fat Tuesday edition. Uh, my name is Saigon John, and for the next few minutes, I'll be talking fantasy hoops in Yahoo's Who's Your Daddy JV Basketball League. Only four weeks now remaining uh, before the playoffs. So with that said, uh, let's take a look at how we kicked off of week 17, starting first in seven apples versus Ballet's all-star MVP. Now, um, Good Mike faces the commissioner this week, and in week eight, uh, he defeated Edwin 5-4. to four. Tonight, he almost had a full lineup, but uh, got a DNP from the three-time all-star dunk champion, Nate Robinson. Must be for health preservation because he's been in trade talks um, reading a lot on the internet about him going to Boston. We'll see uh, what transpires there. But uh, for the time being, the Knicks said he stayed home with the flu tonight. Um, in the meantime, uh, Mike's nine guys were up against eight players for Edwin. Uh, I'm really starting to love this matchup. It's already competitive uh, as we currently have six of the nine categories decided, uh, not really decided, but it has an advantage of three or less. Uh, Mike has a convincing lead, it appears, in both percentage categories, uh, and Edwin's high-scoring team leads with uh, leads by 12 points. Now, what I like most about this matchup is the three-point shooting. Uh, Mike had Eric Gordon and Jason Kidd hitting three triples apiece, while Edwin got four from Aaron Brooks and Anthony Morrow. And for now, that is the difference in this series. Edwin currently leads five to four. Next is Jobbers versus Taco Del Miramar. Adam beat Chris 6-3 last time. Both GMs uh, had full lineups in day one, and they seem to have benched the right players. Adam had Andres Bidris and, on the bench, along with Marcus Camby, who was traded earlier by the Clippers to Portland. Uh, Chris sat Monte Ellis, who's not playing with that right knee injury. And, uh, and hey, there seems to be life from Taco Del Miramar. Got some smack talk from Chris earlier today. Did you all see that? Um, the GM for the 43 and 98 Taco Del Miramar said this, I am not worthy for such greatness. For the time being, Chris is holding his own against the reigning Fantasy League champion. After Tuesday, we have ties in 13 steals and 22 turnovers. Taco Del Miramar shot nearly 50 per, I'm sorry, 54% from the field and led in three-pointers by just two. Uh, Kevin Lug, Love, <laughs> Lug, Kevin Love is keeping things competitive for Chris. Uh, Love had 22 and 15 off the bench tonight at Detroit. Meanwhile, Adam has um, comfortable leads, uh, it appears, in assists, thanks to seven from Andre Iguodala, and in blocks, led by t uh, the athletic Tyrus Thomas of the Bulls, who swatted three shots against the Knicks tonight. I tell you, if Chris keeps this team motivated, we may have a series worthy of greatness. For now, Adam leads 5-2. to two. Now it's ringleader versus the Tigers. Um, this week with Vietnamese New Year here I have uh, I'm telling everybody now this is gonna be the year indeed the year of the Tigers I'm uh, currently in, in the playoff picture as far as the playoff picture goes I am on the outside looking in just uh, one and a half games away from eighth place so I'm putting the rest of you on notice I'm creeping up and you don't want to face me in the playoffs Adam already knows that but uh, Anyway, I, I face a uh, ringleader, um, a ringleader team that beat me 6-2 to two last time. Bill's team is currently in fifth place, and tonight he had just five players in action against seven for me. Um, I was happy to have Ray Allen back. Uh, he had uh, uh, back spasms, problems with back spasms, only missed one game, only one game thanks to the All-Star break. So All-Star break did a body good. But... Uh, Breaks also mean rust, and for both of our teams, we shot badly tonight, well under 40% from the field um, for both of us. Uh, right now, I lead there, um, as well as in three-pointers made, points, rebounds, and assists. Billy B got a rough start from Karan Butler on his new team, uh, the Dallas Mavericks. He had four turnovers tonight, so I lead that category as well. Bill leads in free throws, as I expected, and also has a 6-3 to three lead in blocks. 
that is not what I expected. Um, he can thank Gerald Wallace for that. Crash got three swats tonight for him. We are tied uh, in steals with five apiece, so after Tuesday, this leaves our matchup with uh, me in the lead over Bill right now, 6-2. to two. It's uh, Ball Don't Lie versus That's What She Said. Jonas is uh, four games behind first place Scott right now. He lost to Scott 6-3 to three during week eight. That's what she said, had eight players in action. Um, looks like it would have been nine, but Kobe Bryant is still sitting out with that sore left ankle. Uh, Scott almost had seven players, uh, but uh, Joe Kim Noah, Joe Kim Noah was actually questionable today. He ended up DNPing tonight for the Bulls, however. Uh, Paul Millsap and Mark Gasol hit the boards hard, uh, pretty hard for ball, don't lie. However, um, that's what she said it was very aggressive um, on the glass. Jonas even got 10 boards from Stephen Curry. Uh, Curry, who was also two assists shy of a triple-double against the Lakers. How cool is that? Um, Curry, though, gave Jonas his team's only three-pointer for the team tonight. So Scott uh, has a good lead there. BDL is also leading in turnovers and by six steals. Uh, they even have a one-block lead over that's what she said. Really going to enjoy singing the name of that team this week. Um, rough start at the foul line for Scott. Uh, I had mentioned Mark Gasol. He was just 3 for 11 from the stripe tonight. Jonas also leads in field goal percentage, scoring, and in assists. So after Tuesday, it's Jonas leading Scott 5 to 4. And last but not least, we have Hoop Kings versus Cobra Kai Never Dies. Uh, in this feature matchup, we have some streaks just waiting to be broken. Evil Mike uh, has a winning streak, as uh, I've uh, well documented in recent weeks. The last two months, it seems, uh, the 75 and 68 Cobra Kai Never Dies is the hottest team in the league, easily winning the last eight weeks in head-to-head -head competition. Now, winning this matchup won't be enough for Evil Mike. He has uh, made it known to the league that uh, Renee has a streak as well, um, an undefeated streak at that even, 16-0 and 0 in the assist category. This ought to be good. Um, well, Cobra Kai had some disappointing news on Tuesday. I mentioned that trade involving Marcus Camby um, earlier uh, with the Clippers and the Blazers. Unfortunately, Evil Mike had picked up yesterday um, Steve Blake, who was a part of that deal, so he did not play in the Blazer-Clipper game tonight. Um, so that left him with just eight players while Renee had a full lineup. Um, Cobra Kai is currently losing in scoring, but lead both percentage categories as well as three-pointers made. They also have 10 fewer assists than the Hoop Kings. Um, but you guys want to know about assists, so let me tell you this. Renee's team has come out blazing, okay? 16 dimes from Steve Nash, 15 from Darren Williams. Those were the two finalists in uh, All-Star Saturday's skills competition. And then even more for Hoop Kings, Mike Conley gave Renee 11 assists. So not only is Evil Mike losing in assists 65 to 28, but they trail Renee in this series 5 to 4. Let's look at the league leaders for day one. Um, Tuesday seemed to be the day of the jobbers. They lead in four categories. Uh, points, rebounds, block shots, and uh, steals where um, he has a tie in his series with Chris at 13. Renee, as I mentioned, has 65 assists and no one in the league has even come close in that category. Chris uh, leads the uh, shooting from the field at 539. Uh, Bill leads foul shooting uh, at 88.5%. Edwin leads in three-pointers made, and it uh, looks like I make the leaderboard with the fewest turnovers at four. Looking at the waiver wire now, Edwin, the reign of terror, uh, has dropped Roy Hibbert, and uh, Hibbert, I think he acquired him in a trade a few weeks ago, uh, am I, if I'm not mistaken. I'm kind of surprised they let go, let go of him this soon, but uh, he saw a coveted center in the free agent market, and he, he has uh, picked up a metal core. So um, other transactions, I dropped Thaddeus Young and Boris Diaw. I'm going to miss Diaw. He had a double-double for me tonight. Uh, but I picked up for Wednesday the uh, Milwaukee Bucks backcourt of Luke Ridnour and my protected rookie Brandon Jennings. 
And of course, Cobra Kai never dies. Certainly made some moves, dropping Martel Webster, Steve Blake, Ryan Gomes, Andre Miller, and Ben Gordon. Big day for them in moves. So he's now added Jason Thompson, Anderson Verizhao, Craig Smith, Tayshawn Prince, and Earl Watson. Evil Mike appeared to have changed his mind on, on Kirk Heinrich and Spencer Hawes. Hawes, who was later picked up by the Hoop Kings after Renee dropped Kendrick Perkins. There will be 11 games in the NBA for Ash Wednesday. Uh, the nationally televised game will feature the Phoenix Suns visiting the Dallas Mavericks. That game will tip off at 6 o'clock on ESPN. Well, uh, that's all for now here at the Bomb Shelter inside Octane Infinity Studios. Uh, glad to be back. This has been Saigon John, the bomb from Vietnam, and boom goes the dynamite.